Kamali Rawlins here, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world of automotive rhythms. We're situated in Herndon, Virginia at the headquarters of Audi of America to touch, taste, and experience the all new 2022 e-tron GT, including the RS, both of which join the e-tron Sportback to increase the German automaker's presence in electric mobility. We'll also talk to an Audi executive to understand their position in the EV world, as well as experience the RS behind the wheel. Ride with me. Oh yeah. There's nothing like electric torque. The acceleration, instantaneous. Takes off like Seattle's DK Metcalf after recharging before a playoff game. Long, low, wide, and exhilarating, the Gran Turismo is one of the sexiest and most stylistic performance EVs on the market along with the Porsche Taycan, which it shares DNA with being that VW is the parent of both. So Mark, I just had a glorious drive in the RS e-tron GT. Uh, met all expectations. Uh, and what's, what's cool is that I was recently in the RS7. So I'm you know, comparing performance and you really don't lose much at all, but you're in a carbon-free vehicle. So give us an idea of what the e-tron gt and rs e-tron gt means to the brand i think it it the rs e-tron gt and the gt uh, they they really show the pinnacle of what is feasible as a performance car that you can be used can be used for daily driving right with a carbon neutral goal of 30 percent of the audi fleet going all or partially electrified by 2025 the auto industry is collectively banding together to offer the requisite vehicles for auto consumers to become acquainted with. Road control for the e-tron GT stems from launch control, electric quattro all-wheel drive, available torque vectoring and all-wheel steering, 522 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque for a zero to 60 mile per hour time of 3.9 seconds. It really is the pinnacle of our e-tron model line. It mm -hmm. gives us a halo, and that's something that our customers are looking for, and uh, we're extremely excited. High power charging of 270 kilowatts at 800 volts affords the Audi 80% charging in just 23 minutes. Talk about some of the infrastructure. So like, you know, um, charging stations, uh, retailers, um, in-home, uh, level two charging. Uh, do you see that as another level of education that you have to, um, you know, uh, infiltrate uh, into consumers, or are they starting to understand what the outlook is like? Yeah, I think once you go electric, you been, begin to understand it, but certainly if you never have, you do need to learn a little bit about it, right? Right, right. You have a different way of living with the car. That way of living, ideally, is better for you because, again, you charge at home. You have your level two charger in your garage, you're ready to go. Right. Um, and then when you're on the road and you do need to go farther, on a longer trip, then you have, uh, we have the, we're partnering up with Electrify America mm. to offer the charging infrastructure. So what that means is that you basically get a full charge in about 25 to 30 minutes of charge time. So if you equate to, I've now driven almost five hours, right. and then I come back and charge for a couple of minutes, uh, for 30 minutes, then you keep going another five. Additional Gran Turismo highlights include standard dual charging ports, so you can pull up to charging stations on either side to juice up the 93.4 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack, standard panoramic glass roof, two speed transmission, and jazzy 21 inch optional performance package rims. Expect a range of 232 miles for the Audi e-tron GT. Scintillating RS performance resonates from 637 horses with overboost, 612 pound feet of torque, Quattro with dual permanent magnet motors, a carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber front air inlets, available carbon fiber side seals, and a zero to 60 mile per hour sprint time of 3.1 seconds. Pricing starts at $99,900 for the e-tron GT and $130,900 for the RS e-tron GT with both going on sale in the US this summer. Of course, we all like credit, so I'm assuming that Audi hasn't used up their federal tax credits 
um, for EVs. Is that still the case? That's correct. You still get the tax incentive on top of it uh, for all of our EVs. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, Mark. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to it coming out in the marketplace because I need more than 45 minutes in this thing. <laughs>